Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing extremely well. First and foremost, I'm going to wish you guys a happy new year. It is finally 2016 and this is the first video of the year, which is so exciting. I hope you guys had an amazing holiday and spent it well with your families and were safe. And it is exciting to be back with more videos in a new year. So today's tutorial is this very soft, eye and glowy skin with bold brows. I wanted to do my brows extra bold in this video because I just had this feeling or this urge to just go really bold with my brows and yeah so I decided to do that and yeah this look is actually quite soft. It's perfect for every day actually and something that I just realized as well is that it goes really well for those of you that wear glasses as well for those of you that don't know I do wear glasses so I'll just pop this on to show you guys they actually do go quite well with people who wear glasses because it's not too heavy it doesn't get in the way the lashes don't get in the way and everything to kind of just flows so that was something cool that I just discovered so if you guys are interested in seeing how to create this look, please stay tuned and enjoy! So first things first, I'm taking my Zoeva Nude Spectrum Palette and I'm taking the last shade in the palette, which is a brown shade, and I'm applying this with a fluffy brush by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics right into my crease and blending this out quite well using Wheel and Chill Dwarfer Motions and Circular Motions. Next, I'm taking my Sephora Sun Disc Bronzer and also applying this into my crease with the same brush, but I'm applying this more so into the socket and blending it out into that eyeshadow. Going back into that palette, I'm taking the first shade in the fourth row, which is this really pretty shimmery nude shade. These shades don't have names, so I'm trying to describe them the best I can. But I'm just taking this onto my finger and just patting this onto my lid. I also apply this to my brow bone as a highlight. Next, I'm taking this dark brown shade and also applying this to my crease. I'm using a Zoeva blending brush and applying this directly into the socket. I've zoomed up a bit closer so you guys can get a better look. Then I'm going to be taking my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Blackest Black. And I'm about to start drawing on a super thin wing. We don't want anything too dramatic. Starting from the inner corner and working my way outwards. I'm going to flick this out just ever so slightly. And yeah, we're just going to keep this looking quite simple. You then want to curl your lashes and apply some mascara. The mascara I'm using is by Laura Mercier. Now with this eye look, you really want the focus to be on the lashes because the eyeshadow is quite simple. So you want to apply a good amount of mascara and some bomb lashes. And these lashes that I'm using are one of my absolute favourites. They are the 102 Demis by Ardell. So you just want to pop those on. I love how these lashes make your eyes just look really doll-like and really kind of pixie looking, which I absolutely love. So you want to apply those. Then I'm taking this Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Cosmic and I am just applying this to my inner corner and blending this out towards my lid. I'm not applying too much of this, just a very small of amount just to open up my eyes a little bit and give it a little bit of a pop. And then I'm just going back and applying a bit of mascara to my lower lashes. Taking the Ardell Pro Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown, I'm going to apply this into my brows and I'm taking this using the brush that comes with the pomade. And I'm first taking the spoolie side of it and brushing through my brows and then applying the product. This has actually become one of my favourite brow products because it lasts so long and it is just so long wearing and waterproof and it is just great for throughout the day. So I'm just then brushing down my hairs with the spoolie and then I'm filling in those sparse areas and filling in all the gaps with the product and then brushing them back up. I am then just going back over the brow and making sure that it all looks quite neat and yeah one thing I love as well is that I don't ever have to go around it with concealer because it is always a neat finish. So I'm then taking my Sephora Sun Disc Bronzer and I'm applying this into the hollows of my cheekbones and around my face and my jawline and just making sure to bronze up my face quite well because you know I love to be bronzed. <laughs> Now 
Next I'm going to be applying blush and this one is by Max Factor. I'm not too sure of the shade but I will leave all details down below. And I'm applying this to the apples of my cheeks with a duo fibre brush. Next for highlighter I'm taking this Laura Mercier highlighter, again I'll leave all details down below because I can't remember the name of it, but I am doing so with a Sigma brush and I'm making sure to blend this out really well and yeah, just applying a small amount to the bridge of my nose as well. Then I am moving on to lips, I am first aligning my lips with the MAC lip liner in the shade Spice and then I am also filling them in with that same lip pencil. And on top of that, I will be applying NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. And that is it. So this is the finished look, as I mentioned before, it is quite soft and quite light, so it will suit absolutely anybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope you learned something new, and hopefully you guys will try it out. Be sure to tag me on Instagram if you do recreate it, because I always love seeing your recreations. And yeah, don't forget to like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!